Jack the Hat comes up to me, he said, there's a party, he said, are you going? I said, well, it's first I've heard about it. And the next thing I know is I get an invite to this party. So it's got, it must be about half past 12 now. So my car was chocker blocked in. There was no way you could get out. But Jack's car was able to be able to go in his car. We got in his car and we got into the Regency Club. Oh, sorry, Every Road, which is maybe two or three streets away. We gone there, gone up to the door. Their cousin, Ronnie Hart, opened the door. And we go in, go down the stairs, and Jack is in front of us. He runs straight into the room. Where's the birds? Where's the party? And then an argument starts. Reggie Kay pulls a shooter out, which he's admitted in his book he did, and it didn't work. I thought it was a frightener, but I didn't like what was going on because this shouldn't be happening. You understand what I mean? So I just turned around to a guy called Connie Wyatt. I said, Connie, I don't want none of this, I'm going. And he went, Ronnie Cray came out. I said, what's the matter with Chris? He said he wants to go. He wants no part, and Ronnie said, take him home. So Connie Whitehead dropped me off home. I'm sitting there with my dad, I'm having a cup of coffee, and I think Tony's there. And I've always been very careful about Tony. Protective. Protective. From a small baby, you know, up to an adult. So I had a shooter there, 38 Webley, I went and got it, put it in my pocket, and uh, got a taxi down to the Regency, got my car, and went to Everin Road. And I went back to that house. I went back there with murder in my mind. Because if they'd have hurt Tony. Do you think going back to that party yeah, where Jack the Hat yeah, was murdered? Yeah. And you getting that gun, you could have potentially killed the craze? Yeah, I could have done, yeah. He just, I just, I would have had to do it. He's my brother, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I would have had to do it, Jamie. 